I recently got an interesting email. Hey Paul, love the show. Well, thank you. I'm completely new to computers, but I want to get into the scene. I've heard of something called Linux. What is that? Is that uh, like a program or something? Thanks, Jerry. I didn't really realize that people didn't know what Linux was. So yeah, I'll hook you up. Tech Chop is sponsored by TBC Creative Multimedia Design. TBC is a full-service business solutions company providing graphic design, website development, printing, and marketing services. Visit MyTwinBees.com slash TechChop for an exclusive offer of 1,000 full-color, double-sided business cards for just $39. That's MyTwinBees.com slash TechChop. Welcome to episode 5 of Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. I know it's been a long time since I released episode 4 of Tech Chop, but I had to catch up on life a little bit. One thing I did was get back into the martial arts. I earned a black belt in karate when I was in junior high. Then I did a little taekwondo when I was in high school. And then after that, I dropped out for a little bit. Now I'm getting back into it, and it is kicking my butt. The second thing I had to do was get my VMware VCP4 certification. And guess what? I did. Anywho, let's get back on topic so we can help out Mr. Jerry. So you want to know what Linux is? Let me see if I can break it down for you. At a very basic level, Linux is a Unix-like operating system. So what is Unix? Unix is an operating system too. So what's an operating system? An operating system is like the mother software that controls the communication between the hardware and the software of the computer. Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS X are examples of popular operating systems. Mac OS X itself is a Unix based operating system. Now are you getting the picture? And not just the operating system is free either. Almost all software on Linux is free too and licensed under some kind of free open license like the new GPL. Now we say in most cases and almost all because not all of it is free. My bitch better have my money. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is a good example of a non-free version of Linux. Samantha Backup is an example of a Linux application that's not free as well. Nine times out of ten you'll find a free alternative to anything you want to do in the Linux world. For instance, CentOS is a free Linux distribution that is almost exactly like Red Hat. Speaking of Red Hat and CentOS, let's talk about the different Linux distributions. In the Linux realm, there are literally hundreds of different Linux distributions. Asking how many Linux distros are out there is kind of like asking how many stars are in the sky. Some distros come as server versions, some come as desktop versions, and some come as both. What makes them all Linux is that they're all using the Linux kernel as the heart of the operating system. The Linux kernel was developed by an uber geek named Linus Torvalds. Linus released the first version of the Linux kernel back in September of 1991. What makes the different Linux distributions different or similar to each other is the code base that they use on top of the Linux kernel. For example, some distributions like Ubuntu are Debian based, while other ones like CentOS are Red Hat based. Linux is more prevalent than you might think. Nowadays, you pretty much touch Linux in your everyday life and you probably didn't even realize it. Are you on Facebook? Yep. Running on Linux. Tweeting on Twitter. Again, Linux! Did you find this video from Google? Google runs on Linux! Do you have an Android cell phone? Once again, Linux! So in short, Linux isn't just a program that you would run on an operating system like Windows. Actually, Linux itself is an operating system and would be used as an alternative to Windows. For the most part, Linux is free and it saves you money. The money you save using Linux can easily be put towards buying better hardware to run Linux or at least be put towards your beer fund. Miller Beer, purity you can see, quality you can taste. This concludes this episode of Tech Chop. If you have any other questions about Linux or any questions regarding computers, go ahead and hit me up in the comments or shoot me an email at info at techchop.com. Catch us here next time for your prescribed dose of Tech Chop. <laughs>
The second thing I had to do was get my VMware VC port. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the the four-minute episode takes four days to... It does. It takes a long time. <laughs>